how to add Squarespace accordion drop down with images. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a personal and also a self customized accordion and add the images to it. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over squarespace.com. Then you need to sign in for an account. As you can see here, I have Favicon. So this Favicon is a sign that I am uh, using a Google account to sign in. So right here, we have the admin dashboard that contain all of our website that we have created. If you don't have a website or you don't attempt to add this feature or this accordion to a specific website that you have created already, you're going to add it into a new website. So go ahead and click on create a website, then proceed with the following steps. After that, you're going simply to wait for the design and the template to be ready. So once you have here the website ready, you're going to choose it. So for example, let's choose here any of our websites, then we are going to add to it. I'm going to click on this website, which is Jack's Rentals. I'm going to see here my website, then we are going to uh, proceed with the steps. So right here, we have all of the components of the website are loaded. So I highly recommend for you to use this accordion drop down menu into, for example, the sections that are highly um, recommended or suggested, such as the FAQs. For example, when you go ahead and set an FAQ or a frequently asked questions, you're going to put the title, and then you're going to put uh, the, uh, when you click on the accordion drop down, you're going to see the answer and the uh, different component, or, you can go ahead and not put it for FAQs, but you're going to put it here on services. For example, I'm going to use here on this page or any other pages here, I'm going to use it into this specific page. So I'm going to click on the website. Now we have all the sections at the home page. Let's say that we are going to try it first for the FAQs. I am going to add a blank section. Go ahead and click on sections or add section. I'm going to click on add a blank section. So right there, I'm going to maybe edit the section and modify the background of it. So we have it. I'm going to see here, what do we have? So let's see if I can go ahead and make a color for it. For example, this color, this is the color or I'm going to put something else. Now I'm going to modify this here. This is not what I wanted to do, but it's okay. So we are going to set here, not all the colors, but only this section color. So I'm going to put here the colors to something like this. Here, I'm going to add it this simple. Now let's go ahead here and add the section. So you're going to click on add block. Then we are going to see here a menu containing basic, advanced, and integrations. So for the basics, it is the way to go. Now we are going simply to search for accordion. Click on accordion and boom, here we have this section. You can go ahead and make it a little bit wider or a little bit bigger. So here we have the accordion item. Make sure to add it here to the middle. Then we are going to double tap and it will show up here the accordion items we have item one item two item three so you can add more items and link them also or make the name of them so i'm going to click on the icon or the accordion item one i'm going to put here for the faq how can we start here dealing with your business for example question mark now we are going to the description so here we are going to put maybe a text similar to this one go ahead and add the text 
like that, 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 that. Boom. Now we have the first section. We're going to save it. So we are going to add here the second section for the item two. So for example, how can I uh, here, uh, I'm going to put here book and appointment. For example, so we are going to put here appointment. Then uh, here we are going to put here the description, the same one, like that, like that. Boom. For the third one, I'm going to delete the fourth one. Third one. Let's go ahead and make another uh, here question. How can or should we pay on grants? Should we pay in advance to receive receive the uh, let's say here the service question mark here in the second one i have forgot the question mark so let's say that we have made the accordion so we are going to click on one of them so it will take us directly to this specific part. So how we can add images to it. So this is very interesting. You cannot add the images directly to this specific section until you're going to add a link. So for example, when you click on the text, for example, here, we are going to put here uh, image showing Showing, showing the process, process here. So we are going to select here. Then we are going to click on link. After that, you're going to select, for example, file. Then we are going to here set this specific here uh, case to an image. So it will load up here the image. And the uh, word of here is linked to an image. So whenever a person going to click here on uh, here like that, it will be getting them the images. So this is the first thing. The second thing here, you can go ahead and add uh, the image to a whole text. For example, here you can go ahead and add it to files. Then you are going to bring another file like this one or that one. For example, this, you're going to wait for the upload. You cannot add it directly right here to the drop down until you are going to get a, a specific paid code to create another accordion type containing some images uh, or image blocks. But here, you're going to make it for free for yourself and take it over right there. So that was for the solution on how we can add uh, the image and also the accordion drop down. Now this is for the FAQ section. So here we are going to add only a text, naming it here, we are going to put it here at top. So make sure that you are going to add the text at top. For example, you are going to name it FAQ. So FAQ. Now we are going to make it bold. Then we are going to put it here head or header number one. So make it to the middle section like that. I'm going to put it here to the middle. So boom, here we have it. And now for the color of it, you can go ahead and modify the color of it to maybe black. And boom, here we have it. So this is it for this section. If you want to add another section, for example, about the services, you're going first to click on save and uh, save here the FAQ to not go anywhere. Then you're going to search for the other page that you want to add it to. For example, you're going to click on page. Then you have the right to navigate through the pages. For example, I'm going to click on about. Then we are going to add a special section. Click on edit. Then we are going to add the section. So we are going to set it here between get started and who are we? So we are going to click on add section, choose the type of the section that you want to add. For example, maybe you are going to add this one. 
So this has already an accordion. So this will make our work a little bit here um, more simpler. So you're going to click on it here. We have the accordion, for example. This section is special. So you are going to see it right away. So make sure that you're going to add it here. For the uh, format or the um, here, the fonts, you cannot modify them until you are going to inject a code because here, when you click here, but I think that we can go ahead and um, uh, modify them by clicking on the design. So here, let's go ahead and modify them. I have forgot that um, Squarespace after the version of 7.1 have made this feature. So we have the paragraph here. We are going to put them as headers or headings number three, for example, or two. So for the alignment, you are going to put it here. So we are going to put this quote. This is a quote, I think. So you're going to modify them. Double click, click on design. We have here a description. You are going to choose the type of paragraph on the description. For example, type two, type one, or type three. I'm going to lay here type two. The width you are going to modify. The padding also you can modify them. The alignment also. Uh, for the icon, you are going to put them arrows or pluses like that. We're going to put them arrows again to show that it is a drop down icon size you can go ahead and put them the icon a thickness modify the size of them icon placement you can put it here at the left or the right row padding here background you can add some backgrounds like this one we're going to add some backgrounds here or custom ones it is up to you or you can go ahead and add or disable this feature uh, we have the stroke, the blend mode, and the blur. You can also add some blur to uh, this specific accordion. So as you can see, it is a little bit blurry. So here we have this specific case. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.